Finding a skill tree can debatably be the hardest part of Pal World. A Pal catcher must trek through dangerous waters, climb up the tallest mountains, and even soar high in the air at speeds over 2,000 miles per hour. And then maybe, just maybe, if you were lucky enough and you look in the correct direction when the right frames are loaded in, you might just possibly stumble upon a magical tree of fruits. And that is exactly why you are here today. I will elaborate on every skill tree location in order from worst to best. So sit back, grab some snacks, and become a Pal World skill tree expert. The skill tree location? Absolutely gorgeous skill tree on the top of a peninsula. I think that's what you would call this bad boy. I would not say that it is very good as far as a base location. I mean, you're going to be missing a lot of structure whenever you build over this water like this right here. But it is a beautiful location in general. Well-deserved bottom spot on the list, though. I could tell you that for sure. Where did all the land go? There ain't even much to talk about this one. On to the next. Oh, I see it right there. That bad boy is tucked away. Definitely a beautiful location, but the tree hides all the beauty. It's gorgeous on this other side over here with the waterfalls and the drastic view. Oh man, just look at that. And they're going to tuck the tree away. If you wanted to build a base on this side and then walk to the tree, I'm not opposed to that. There's also plenty of dungeons, a little flat area, but nothing to write home about. That is surely not the situation here. More of a unique scenery though, if you're into this kind of thing. And you got the lava over here for some fire minions, but the heat isn't really gonna affect you too much. This one right here is gonna be another tree spot that is on the back of the list and used to be on the front of the list before the ore mining site. I mean, just look how many ore are right here. And you got a beautiful tree on the peninsula, just shortest walk possible up it. So it's going to give it a little bit of a higher score, but it's still not going to be on the top of the list. Really a unique base, such a good view as well. I am in love with this one as far as looks. If you're sacrificing a base for a tree, you got to give some look factor in. There ain't no doubt about that. And just a quick note, this one's extremely close to a checkpoint. Another good tree with a flat surface base. You do got some uh, tougher mobs around here, some, some below or uppers definitely never like dealing with those oh not a bad location though for the mid game i'm sure there's plenty of dungeons and the view kind of looks better than the other it would be a little bit longer of a walk in order to get to the bandit camp but it doesn't really matter too much whenever you get the transportation mid game for one like that oh my god oh i love this location this is absolutely gorgeous and one of the first that really stand out Get you a completely flat base and get you a little skill fruit tree right here. Just as good as any of the other ones. Maybe not as decorative, but you still have some beautiful scenery around you. Really good starting location. You're not going to get a dungeon like the other one, but you do get full use out of your base. If you were to do two tree locations, I would definitely top this one on here. I mean, you can even do your base up here to avoid raids. Absolutely gorgeous got the ocean down there and i'm pretty sure there's gonna be dungeons around here no doubt about that next skill tree location which this one here is interesting in the sense that you put a base close to it but you would not put a base right directly on it this is debatably one of the best base locations in the game right down here right up the rail from the tree just gotta do a hike up the road and let's look at this as far as if you were to put a base up here i will say it is beautiful high on the hills are great for getting rid of raids and big problems on the situation but overall really nothing too crazy just a, another tree beautiful location it's definitely better than some of the other ones we've seen because you're gonna get value out of all the space you could definitely build on everything here you got ore close to you if you needed some but with ore mining sites it's not even a factor anymore this would have been top tier previously though that is indeed a facts beautiful tree location this was one of the bases i'd strongly recommended before the ore update you get all these ore flat terrain beautiful tree and you have so many dungeons around you for mid game 
You also have a bandit camp up here refreshing a pal for you. I couldn't even suggest a better location for the early game of Power World. Absolutely amazing. Early to mid game really because these mobs around here are no joke in that early game. Gotta get a little bit situated to be able to handle them. Not the most beautiful view of them all but very resourceful. And there's nothing wrong with having ore in the base. I prefer some sulfur rocks. Another meh skill tree location, but it does seem to have dungeons right next to it. So it's better than the one that's on the true peninsula. And you do have flat areas around here to build a base. This right here is a really good base spot, honestly. And you just got to run up the hill in order to get it. And there's a dungeon right around the corner here. And I've seen people build a waterfall base. This is actually one of the few places you could build a waterfall base if you want to be close to this tree so that's going to definitely be giving it a little higher score once they have pals really optimized for the base it is going to be so much better as far as like the uniqueness you could put on that building would be beautiful for a base i don't think i could say that enough to be honest this is an absolutely wait is this a tree oh <laughs> Now everything we're saying fits, everything we're saying fits, I was just happening to walk in the wrong direction here. Beautiful location for a base still stands, you, you, you know, some people debate about putting the, the, the fruit in the base, and I totally agree with that play so you can grab it more often and not have to make runs for it. But I do already struggle with three bases as is. They really do put these trees in some magnificent spots. I kind of did think this was it at first, but maybe that's just an awesome tree. Oh my, and you got a dungeon. And that's really good, honestly, for the beginning game. This would be a fire, amazing beginning game base location. I don't know if I'd put it up top or down bottom, but not bad at all. Good tree spot. Absolutely gorgeous water base location. Hold on if you're a person for the water earning its spot with some drastic waterfalls and a dungeon access right away this is another spot where you could debatably fight bellinor you would want to put in my concept whoa i had to make sure there wasn't some adventure going on back there geez the amount of waterfalls on this base gives it a spot right away we still have better and more drastic waterfalls coming up later in this video that are purely centered around beauty but you have your dungeon you got good access and the whole concept with the new bellinor fighting is you put the pal box high up because if you were to build a structure high up she could just destroy it but if you were to put it high up and then summon her down there there ain't no way she's getting to it and you just constantly throw pals off into it is my concept we're gonna get into detail about that more later though because i can promise there are some way better spots for some killing bellinor than this spot get your mix of your snow but also get your grassy land with a flat one there are gonna be no dungeons nearby no utility besides the tree and a beautiful base but not nearly as beautiful as the other one probably a 50 on the beautiful score <laughs> giving it that good middling position but not too high up on the list i definitely think we have considerably better options and i don't see much use for bellinor here a little bit of pure core to this location you got one rock chest location in the base i mean okay if you are a mountain man and you like the colorado desert this location is perfect for you holds its position as a high level location purely because of the source of coal there is an astronomical amount of coal and wood here so you're never gonna run out for your days and you have a very very flat base location to work with you're at the top of a mountain so you're not going to be disturbed by any raids up here and once you get all the mobs out of the way there shouldn't be any more you throw your ore mining sites in with this coal and you have a perfect base with the only flaw being the night and the day of the temperatures affecting you i really enjoy this one personally but as far as beauty you got a zero in my book brother i ain't a man of the colorado land we got another base location much like the last same you got or you're at the top of the desert the only reason that this one is above the other desert location and firmly above it is because the other base that we looked at on the peninsula is right there so you can realistically fly to it and have two trees if you wanted you also got that access to core put your ore mines up and you got the guards from raids there are some dungeons as well on the bottom of this mountain which makes it absolutely beautiful 
So not a bad spot at all and earns its top tier spot. Both of the sand ones do. Wow. Really drastic location. And of course you got a dungeon and a skill tree and a flat area all about and some unique scenery to play with if you wanted. Very, very cool. This is definitely a base to consider for the situation. And let me tell you why this is one of my favorites. Because of Bellinor. Bellinor is going to take some very unique terrain in order to conquer. And I'm making some videos on that, so subscribe if you want to see them. But you can't just build a base around Bellinor to conquer it. It has to have the unique lay of the land. And this pit might just be the answer to that. You shove her in this bad boy, and you got your dungeon, and you got your tree. You also got this structure over here you could use to pivot Bellinor with. This is just an absolutely incredible top spot and it definitely deserves it for that reason. I will say there's a checkpoint right here. Usually a reason to not put a base close to something but because of this Bellinor situation this is definitely a top tier spot. I really like this. Base location that is going to put you into the volcano. You have so much terrain to work with. Debatably another location where you could handle Bellinor. You need items that she cannot destroy in battle, and it's just a trek up the tra terrain in order to get your tree access. They do have some feisty critters around. You gotta deal with that hot temper or else it'd be way higher on the list. Oh wow, look at this site too. I think that these sorts of bases though are the future of Pal World, and this is how Bellinor shall be conquered. Because I don't know if y'all tried fighting Bellinor on hard mode, hard mode Bellinor, but, uh, <laughs> you need, we need some, some help, okay? We need some help. You also got a dungeon right next. Always debated putting my base here before I even considered Bellinor. I actually found this tree deer in my playthrough, so it's really not that hard to find, and it is a very, very unique base location. Talk about a true waterfall putting the other waterfall base to absolute shame. And you could, if you had the circle up here, you could really do some unique stuff with this one. Gorgeous location if you're going for the design effort. But sadly, besides the beauty, it holds no essential value. Besides the tree, of course, dead center in the base. I will add to the fact, and the positioning matters because of this, because I found a shiny right here, a fire shiny. Wow, look at that downward waterfall now this is crazy talk about a base location rightly given this positioning and it has a checkpoint so you technically don't even need to put a base here that's the whole reason i mean it would just purely be because this is so pretty my favorite tree location of them all and the only one that you're gonna find in the winter area tons of mobs you got quartz in case you need some quartz which you never really do you can mine a little bit of that and it lasts forever you got a high level dungeon right next to the base and the most beautiful scenery around if you are into snow this is the base for you and i made it complicated to place it because of that though because it's purely personal preference at this point of beauty among these last ones they all seem to have some dungeons close to them they have the resource but this one got its score purely because of the fact that it has quartz you also got these big structures where you could beat bellinor oh wow that's the meta. You put your pal box right here. You put Bellinor down there. And you just demolish Bellinor from up here. Oh, I have the vision for it now. Well-deserved position. Well-deserved position. I also made a video on all the skill tree fruits if you want to watch that one. If you became a Power World skill tree expert, please subscribe. And comment down below if you have any good ideas for future videos.